Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry it's so late, but uh, a lot of things had to get done, and uh, we had a very busy day, busy weekend, so please uh, forgive me for having this late broadcast. Okay, so let's start off with the credentials. My name is Tony. I'm one of the organizers here at a Needy Wilmington. Uh, let me put all the credentials up here so you guys can see what it is. So you can see uh, there's our name, our website. Uh, you can actually send an email. These are all the social medias that you can uh, find us on. Uh, you can see us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Periscope, Snapchat, YouTube, Google+. And if you want to make monetary donations, you can do it either on PayPal or uh, GoFundMe. And there's a telephone number. And if you wish to go ahead and send something by mail, that's our address. So it's uh, PO Box 1753 right here in Wilmington. 90748-1753. Okay. So everybody's been asking questions about Operation Hope. And so we're letting everybody know the last day is the 31st. Okay. So Operation Hope, the very last day we'll be taking donations is Friday, March 31st at 2017, of course. Uh, so that'll be the very last day. Uh, let me put it up there one more time. So this is the very last day we're going to be taking items in uh, for Operation Hope. And so um, right now we have one sponsor that's allowing us to have items dropped off, which is Maya Restaurant. So thank you, Maya Restaurant, for doing that for us and uh, allowing for individuals, community, uh, and people who walk in to uh, make a donation. So I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Ricardo and Rudy at Maya Restaurant. Okay, so that being said, we're going to be also, I'm going to be there tomorrow. So if you guys had any questions or if you guys wanted to meet and greet, uh, I'll be there tomorrow again, usually between 10.15 and 11.15. So if you want to make a donation, you want to see me in person, uh, you want to see Ms. Rodriguez in person, uh, we'll be there for about an hour. Um, that way uh, we are supporting our local businesses. So uh, that's where we have our morning breakfast. So I'll be there Sunday. Okay, so that being said, uh, please share this information out to everybody so that way everybody can see what's been accomplished, what we're doing, what we're doing with the uh, this particular uh, voyage for Operation uh, Hope, okay, which is meaning helping our pilots excel. Does this mean this is the last operation we're going to do? No, this is the one, this is one of many that we're going to do. And uh, we already have information on the first two that we're going to help out. Uh, they're uh, both boys, uh, twins. So I'm waiting to get all the information so I can find out uh, sizes and age and all that good stuff. And they also have one sibling. So we'll be having another broadcast really, really soon, uh, either on Monday. Uh, either I'll do it in the morning or in the afternoon, but I will definitely be doing one on Monday. So please put that in your calendar. Uh, if you want to help out, I'll put that information up there. Of course, all the videos that we do, uh, please go ahead and uh, find it out on YouTube. If you missed it here on Facebook, we'll have all the links, information on there. Uh, hi, Jeanette. Welcome for tuning in. I appreciate that. And so what we're doing right now is mail call. So let me find, let me find mail call, and we'll do the mail call right now. And uh, as I promised, we are going to have... Um, uh, someone who dropped, made a uh, donation, and so we wanted to make sure that uh, anytime that we get something new, we're going to go ahead and, uh, of course, bring it on here so everybody can see what is it that we're doing, what is it, what is it all about, and, uh, you know, so we can share with you guys. So it's really, really important uh, what we're doing and what we're all doing about. Okay, it's not working, but that's okay. All right, so... The mail call that we got is from the family, and she's also a teacher at uh, Banning High School. So we really appreciate their family donation. So thank you to the Osorio family. So they're the ones who made this uh, possible that we're going to talk to you guys about. And then we're going to go over a little bit of all the things that we were talking about in our other broadcast that you guys might have missed out. Okay, so we got this big box. Okay, so we got this big box. Ugh! This big box. Okay, so we got this big box. 
Hi, Desiree. So we got this big old box, and there's a lot of good stuff in here. So these are all going to go to Miss Robinson, the social worker at... Um, Hello. What's the name of the social worker again? Estella Robinson. Ah, uh, I didn't do my job. I didn't. I should have wrote it down. Okay, Miss Estella Robinson, social worker at uh, Phoenix Valley High School. Okay, so what do we have in the box? All right, so we got socks. How cool is that? So we got six pack of socks. So these six students are gonna get socks. How cool is that? So we're gonna get socks. Puma socks, women's. So these are gonna go for girls. So like I said, whoever needs them, you know, we're gonna break them down and each one's gonna get a pair. So whoever needs socks, you know, Ms. Robinson will have a way to designate that. So this is gonna go to someone who needs it. And let's see what we got here. And we also got boys, men. So you got the men's ones too. So ain't that awesome? So we got women, women and, and, and girls. So thank you, Osorio family. So we have 12 socks. So 12 kids are going to need this. Whoever uh, is needing a, a, a pair of socks, now they're going to have a, a pair of socks. So we can go ahead and help them out. The reason why we're doing all this, so everybody can understand, is especially for the uh, social worker, it's very, very hard to sit and have no budget for things like this. So... When you have a kid that you're working with, we try to, to identify every concern and we help out. So they came to us in Edie Wilmington to help them out uh, with these kind of things that we just, we take for granted, okay? And we'll also do a little thing after, after that. So this is totally cool, what we're talking about, that you can do it as a group. You can come as a family and go together and make this happen. Okay, so she'll get to go ahead and help somebody out that says, I don't have a couple of socks because our family's not working, so, or they have an issue, so we'll give them, you know, a pair or two of socks, so that way they have socks to, you know, for this example, uh, to help them out, uh, or they, they smell and they don't have way to wash, so you know, they give them another pair of socks. So that's why we have this. So that way she has inventory to help out the student that has the need, okay? So we also have deodorant. How cool is that? See? So four, four pack, four pack. So four people will have deodorant. So if there's a problem that they don't have deodorant, they will designate and give one of these to a student so that way they can take care of their needs, see? So four kids will get this and and that way she can help them out the best way they can. Hi, Julie. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please share the broadcast, people. The reason why I do this broadcast, please share it out. Let everybody know. Go on your button right there on your Facebook and share this broadcast with everybody on your Facebook page, please. So that way I know you're supporting A. Needy Wilmington. You're supporting on what we're doing and we're trying to accomplish, and so that way the more people that want to get involved who may not even know what we're doing, uh, what we're doing. So uh, please, please share this broadcast out. I appreciate you guys viewing, but it'd be more and more helpful if you guys can share it out, okay? All right, message. Okay, so we have that, and let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow, this is cool, see? It's body soap. Body soap, yay! 15 bars of body soap. So that means... 15 students are going to get body soap if they have a problem that they don't have soap. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. Please, please share this out. I thank you, love. Thank you for the reactions. Please share this out with everybody on your Facebook page. The more people I can get, the more people I can get to help, it's to help the students. Okay? If we can get a, a, a good response, we had a slow response in the beginning of the month. It has nothing to do with lack of information or broadcasting or anything like that because I'm constantly knocking the pavement, doing broadcast and, and getting the information out on the website and all the, on the social media. It's for a lot of people, it's hard because a lot of people are on salary. I understand that. Uh, a lot of people are still getting over Christmas and I understand that too. And then plus the taxes. So people can't really help out as much as they would like to. So that's why it's like now it's starting to help out because a lot of people 
have the opportunity. They want to help, but they're all we all have a budget and everybody has, you know, to take care of things and we totally understand that. So that's the reason why I continue I continuously do this no matter, you know, what time it is. So this is the reason why we do what we do. Okay? So if we do really well, we'll ex we'll extend it. Okay? We'll keep extending it. But right now we're doing it until March 31st, okay? So uh, let everybody know. March 31st is the last day that we're taking donations, okay? If the items is a lot of items and you want me to pick them up, I'll be happy to pick them up, okay? So if you can't take them down to Maya, let me know and I'll be happy to, to pick them up, okay? So make sure they've got to be new. They can't be used, okay? Uh, and we're going to go over the other stuff that we did on the last broadcast, or you can even check on our other broadcast on YouTube, and you can see how inexpensive just to buy things, okay? This is a family effort, so this is why it's, it was very, very blessing that we got this. So 15 bars, 15 kids, they come in, they don't have body soap, they have no soap at home, they come smelly, and it's not by their choice, they just don't have the ways of doing it, they don't have it. Maybe they have special needs. They're allergic, what have you. So this one pretty much covers that. See, so this is why we do what we do. Okay, so we have soap. And then, of course, for the girls, how cool is this? So now we can take care. This is what we talk about, how we take for granted. So we have these um, um, women's support item right here. Yeah, these are pads. Okay, so how cool is this? So now... The, Ms. Robinson can help out with the women, the girls um, that have, you know, that, you know, unexpected accident or whatever. Now she can help them out. So see, this is one, well, this one has 76 and this one has 90. So this is going to cover for a good, good while. So thank you to the Osorio family for doing that. So look how awesome and wonderful that is, what we put out here. So that way they can help out the students. It's all going to go on Monday. We're going to do this on, we're going to take all this on Monday. So that way she can start, she can start now tackling what needs to be done uh, to help out the students. So thank you so much to the Osorio family. Uh, give me a second here. The Osorio family, thank you so much for helping us out, for being part of Operation Hope. So, so wonderful. Okay, so, so we got socks. How cool is that? Socks, we got socks. Okay, and we have deodorant. How cool is that? And we have body soap. How awesome is that? That is totally cool. Okay, so, I know there's a lot they're gonna say it's a, it, we can't we can't afford it it's too expensive, um, and I want to help out. Well, that's the reason why we also have a way that you can make a monetary donation. So so far we already received um, eight dollars in cash to buy items uh, needed, which we're gonna show right now how how very uh, inexpensive it is to uh, to purchase items at the local Dollar Tree or Target or Walmart or what have you. And uh, you can do it right here on PayPal or GoFundMe. Okay, you can find these links on Facebook. You can find these links on our website. Here's the website. Okay, this is the short link. This is the long link. Okay, or if you want to mail it, you can mail it to the P.O. Box. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can either email me, you can make a phone call, or you can send it through Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, all the social medias. Let us know what you guys can do to help out, and we'll do that. Okay, so how inexpensive are the items that you can get for less than a, for a dollar? Okay, and I know there was a lot of concerns as far as, well, I don't have much and what have you. Oh, and I forgot, and we also have a check that we're gonna to give to the school for $50. So they're gonna to go to the student body. The student body will give the cash to Ms. Robinson to take care of that. So we have a total of $58 so far toward the cost, okay? So thank you for that. So right now we're trying to raise money for lice kits. And I'm trying to find the other one. Okay, so these are the kits that we've been talking and we've been promoting. So please share this broadcast out. 
So I understand there's a lot of concern in, in regards to these kind of treatments. You don't have to buy these brands. You can buy Walmart, you can buy Target's brands, you can buy CVS, Walgreens, whatever your budget allows, you can go ahead and purchase it and either donate it to Maya, there's a box there, let me know if it's difficult, I'll pick it up, and uh, or you can mail me or what have you, okay? Now, I understand some are very, very strong on the, on the issue about chemicals, so if you don't want to do the chemical, do the comb. So this is how cool it is. So you can do the comb, it comes with a magnifying glass on the back, and you can go ahead and uh, uh, do that, and uh, we'll, you can donate the comb rather than doing the chemical. You don't have to just buy this brand. You can also do the shampoo and conditioner that they have CVS. They can also, there's links on Facebook, so you can go ahead and check it out. So there's different ways of helping out, different ways of doing it. This one costed uh, $10 with tax. This one was like $8 with tax. And of course, these are the brands you can use or buy. Hi, Maury. Thank you for tuning in. That's Maury. She's one of our poor representatives that helps out our, thanks, our Thanksgiving feast for the needy. So thank you, Maury, for tuning in. Maori. Okay, I'm sorry. Maori. I got corrected again. Oh, my gosh. She's not being nice to me tonight. Okay, so anyway, Mr. Rodriguez says, hi, Maori, and she corrected me. Okay, so these are the kits that you guys can get, uh, or you can get your own brand on whatever you want. And after that, you can donate it, and that way you feel comfortable on whatever you want to do. On Facebook, we also have a link that we hooked up with Gone with the Comb. Um, they can come to you and do treatments. Of course, you have to work out the pricing for that. If you want to do a gift certificate or if you want them to come out, uh, the prices are on the webpage uh, once you go to our link, and you can go check them out. This is a very big concern that we have to deal with because they're not being sent home anymore, the kids. Kids have to stay, home, they have to stay in school with lice in their hair. And a lot of the kids' families that we're actually talking to can't afford this. Okay, believe it or not, they cannot afford $10 for a kit or $8 for a comb. The concern is real. They are so strong with their budget that they barely have enough for gas for, for, uh, for work for the family members, let alone food, they don't have money for this or this. Or they don't have insurance that covers this. I know I've been getting a lot of emails telling me that it's covered under the insurance. That's good for PPO and certain HMOs, but for a lot of them that either pay into it, they consider this an elective type of treatment, it's not covered. So they have to pay for it out of their own pocket. So it's not covered. So this is the reason why we are doing this. This is why we're bringing this attention to everybody. If you can donate a, t uh, a, a treatment kit, please do so. Share the broadcast out. Let everybody know the concern is real. We have a lice concern going on at the school at Phoenix Banning High School. The kids are being not sent home because they don't seem that to be as a concern. And so this, they don't have a way to take care of it. Uh, and let that alone, just having their head cut or shaved is not enough. So please, if you have ways to donate this, you can either donate by money or you can do the kit. So like for example, we have $58. If Ms. Robinson says go buy some more kits, then we will buy the kits. If she wants us to buy more other items for the kids to have, then we will do that. But we have to sit with Ms. Robinson and she wants to do with that because the academic is real and the concern is there, but we have no way to, to take care of it. So please, please share this information out so we can do that. Okay, so what items can you purchase that you think it's, you know, it's not covered, you don't have enough, you can do a bunch of stuff. So here's like, this is all from Dollar Tree. Men's 3-in-1 body wash, napkins, okay, deodorant. All these items only cost a dollar. If you guys can donate a dollar, I'll take the dollar. Whatever you guys want to donate, whatever you feel comfortable donating, let me know and donate it. And we have envelopes at um, Maya Restaurant. And we will go ahead and take care of these items. These are all for a dollar. Deodorant, tissues to, to blow their nose, runny nose, body wash so they don't smell. Tissues. 
toothbrush, toothpaste, they come in a kit. This one has a toothbrush, a toothbrush cover, and a toothpaste for only a dollar. If you guys can chip in a dollar, please donate a dollar. If you guys can donate five, you can buy five items like what I'm showing you now and donate into the Maya box. Okay, this is how serious uh, the concern is that we can go ahead and help somebody out with these items so Miss Robinson can help those kids who come home, come to school, their teeth are not brushed, they have bad breath, they don't have a toothbrush, they don't have a toothpaste, and it costs a dollar. Another way you can help out these feminine products, name brand feminine products, a dollar a piece. Okay? It only costs a dollar. Okay, so it's very, very easy and affordable to help out with, for just a couple of dollars. Do some stuff to help them out. Petroleum jelly for dry skin, bars of soap. Toothbrush, you get two for a dollar. Reach. Name brand items, people. Brand items, okay? Only for a dollar, okay? Vitamin C, so that way they get their vitamin C so they don't get sniffles, they don't get colds. A dollar. 500 milligram vitamin C. Increase their immune system with this. Deodorant, only a dollar. Tissue, four rolls for a dollar. Very affordable, very easy to help out a kid who we take, what well, we take for granted, they are without. So please, if you can and you are able to do so, please help out a kid at school. Help out Miss Robinson to do her job so that way the kids don't have to worry about things that bring them to attention. Bad breath, they don't shower clean clothes. Those are the items that we have on the list. Laundry cards. We can take laundry cards. A lot of them don't have ways to laundry. $10 for laundry cards. You can get it at the uh, laundromat at the Northgate uh, Mall right here on PCH next to the Chase Bank. You can put in whatever denomination you want. We already gave two out. Thank you to Lucy who uh, donated two. <clears throat> $10 a piece. And so two kids were able to have uh, laundry. We want to get laundry detergent. We'll put them in bottles with fabric softener, uh, detergent, and sheets and put them in a bag. So when we give a laundry card out, we can give them a little bit of soap and that way they can do their laundry without any problems. So it's really, really important to please share this information out. Please like what we do on our Facebook page. Please visit our website, enter comments, visit the YouTube, enter comments, see what you'd like to see that's on there, uh, and that way we can go ahead and address all the items, whatever concerns everybody have. So again, real quick, all these items I'm showing you is for a dollar. If you have a couple of dollars, instead of buying a, a candy bar or, or, or 99 cents burrito, you want to help out a student, you can buy this item at, at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Vitamin C, soap, feminine support products, Toothpaste, floss, tooth, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste kit for a dollar. Tissue for running nose, again, women's support. Toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, body soap. All these items are needed. The kids will not, uh, will not come forward to let anybody know. Uh, we actually uh, have to work at getting, you know, getting their attention to to address some of these issues. Uh, Ms. Robinson sits with them uh, and then brings the attention to us. And this is what we do. We try to help out. So please, please help out. Uh, again, here are all, all of our uh, social media platforms, information on how to get a hold of us. There's our phone number, email address. And there's Miss Osorio. Thank you for your donation, Osorio, for the family. Thank you for doing that. So that's all our information on there. So please, if you can, go ahead and check it out. Share this broadcast. The more people that we can get involved, the more people that we can help out. Again, if you can go ahead and donate the kits 
or donate money for the kits. So far, we already raised fifty-eight dollars that we're gonna go ahead and use to get more kits. Uh, either uh, some of what each one or combs, whatever Miss Robinson decides. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, just a remind to everybody to please. Uh, the last day that we're gonna do this is uh, March thirty-first. The box will still be there. Um, if we get more people wanting to help out, uh, we'll stretch it out to April. But right now, we're going to be doing it up to March um, because, uh, you know, it's been a very uh, slow turnout. We understand it's about income tax season. People are trying to recover from Christmas. So that's the reason why, you know, we're trying to, to like, feel how it goes. And we understand that's the reason why... Whatever love donation you feel like, you know, that you can donate, please donate. If it's only a dollar, a dollar will pay for soap. A dollar will pay for deodorant. A dollar will pay for a toothbrush and a, and a, a toothpaste and a toothbrush cover. A dollar goes a long way, okay? So if you can spare a dollar, we will take the dollar. A lot of people won't think it's a big deal. To us, it's a big deal because it's a dollar that they didn't have. It's a product that they never had. And we can go ahead and use those uh, small donations to purchase a lot of things uh, for uh, the students, only for the students at um, Batting High School. Okay, so again, thank you for uh, the Osorio family for the donation they just did. If you guys just barely tuning in, please catch the uh, rebroadcast. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. Uh, you can uh, email me, phone call me. There's a voicemail. You can leave a message. You can messenger on uh, Facebook, <clears throat> Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Please support the YouTube page. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. If something that we can improve, give us a, a comment about it. If you don't like what we do, that's okay. Give us a thumbs down uh, and see what we can need to do to improve it. Uh, we're doing the best we can. Again, this is a nonprofit organization. We have we have no budget, so everything that we we take in, we bring right back out to the needs of the students or the citizens here in Wilmington. So please, please um, support our cause. Thank you for tuning in for so late, and uh, until Monday, until Monday, we will have another broadcast to let everybody know. Our, our next mail call, uh, we should be having something tomorrow. I'll be at my restaurant between 10, 15, and 11, 15. So if you want to meet and greet, if you want to drop off a uh, monetary donation, I'll be happy to do so. Um, I'll be there for an hour. The box will be there to the end of the month. And um, that's pretty much everything covered. So if there's anything else, please let me know if I missed out. Other than that, thank you for tuning in. And until the next time. Please be unity in our community, and thank you again for supporting A Needing Wilmington.